Hello everyone and welcome back to Outer Chauvin here and we've got a busy day ahead of us. So first of all we're going to sell some of these pellets. See how much we can get. Then obviously we'll get Ben to load up the timber, planks, furniture. That's it. Obviously we're going to get a buckload of money from this, I know, but still. So down to 30,000. So yeah, goal for today is get this done, get the furniture sold, and then go from there, um, do some harvesting because we've got the corn maze to do today, as well as our wheat, I think it is. So we're going to have a quick look here. Is it wheat? Yes, it is. So. So it might scroll down quite a little bit because we've been doing a couple of things here and there. We've managed to get our hands on a brand new silo put in. We'll still keep the old one. Oh, what are these? <laughs> Why aren't they unloaded? So we're gonna have a look here. Now for some reason we are What's wrong with these pallets? They're just like stuck. <laughs> come on, I know you want to come. First just get one or two unstuck then that'd be nice. Nope, please. Come on. There we go. Or not. Once you will get these sold, so bear with me a sec. Whilst I go and get these sold. There we go. We got the last pallet, so. And that is nice. Now we'll just go and get our friend Oh Ben. As I was saying, we'll get Ben to get all these furniture zoomed up. Not as we can make as much bank as we did in the past. So we need to So why ain't this, why ain't Ben doing this up for us? Come on Ben, get your butt into gear. Ben. There we go. So we've got 20,000 litres plus some more. Don't think it's going to be quite a full trace worth of though, but still. <laughs> It's going to be extra money coming in for us, and it will go towards our new sawmill that I've got planned, and a whole bunch of other upgrades we've got in the works for the farm. There we go. I think I do love this Scania here. It is a nice little combination here. So that's going to take some time to unload. So whilst that's going on, we have completely swapped tact in terms of what we're going to go for. And we've gone with a case, not the John Deere. We sent that back and we decided to lease this. This was pretty expensive at like 40 grand to lease up for the combine itself. Not including the headers, not including anything like that. So. Short swap for them. So now, what we'll be doing is harvesting our wheat whilst also producing straw and at the same time picking up some straw and making to bell. So, 
It's be interesting to see how much we can get, and let's just see how good this little setup is. I've been missing things so far, I didn't think so. Try to keep Siren not so janky. It seems to be doing the job, so if we get a worker doing that. So that's all the furniture sold, so that's an extra hundred in. 26 grand or whatever. Don't say you're done. Oh, he is done. Guessing the worker cannot cope with doing that. Fair enough. There we go. And I think with the this particular dolly here is so far back that when we are doing the East Janky steering movements with Combine, it gives it enough time to line up. Obviously, when we stop with that, it doesn't help, but <laughs> aside from that, like, a little bit of that that we've missed because of me stopping, we'll go pick up at the end, but I really want to try to get a worker doing this because I'm pretty sure the worker could be able to do this. with you. Now I need to find where's our other traits is up here. That's our timber runner. Where is our underbelly trader? That's a tanker. Nope, not you. Ah, the underbelly's there, so Let's go into Scania and then, oh yeah, it's there. We'll pick that up and then we'll start the Forge Harvest, I think. And righty there, so we've got everything all set up here. We've got the worker doing its own thing. And now it's time to get chafing. Chafing, chaffing, not sure. But yeah, regardless, we're going to make a lot of size here, I think. We've topped up with 20 years of size as if we do have a barrels of what, barrels not a barrels <laughs> of size additive over here. So we go zoom in. So we've got some size additives and the other one I think is fertilizer. Something like that. So yeah, what we're gonna do is unfold this. Not sure how much additive we actually need. Because we've got all of this to do. One or two parts, as you may see, I have missed just in drilling that. It's bound to happen at times, just having like, the odd patch here and there fading to grow. Or just me forgetting to switch the fans on in the drill. But regardless, we've got the underbelly here. And we're making chaff. And already we've got a thousand litres, two, three thousand litres. And all of this would be going. Uh, where is it? The tabs too. So it's going to turn you on ready, because we're going to put some in there. And some in there. So between those two, we'll be making a lot of silage. Ah, I see a problem. Not sure if you can tell, but how full is the worker? Getting there, so yeah. That's going to be a potential issue for us, so what we're going to do, we've got the money, so I was going to quickly lease out. Actually, let's just throw an auger wagon. I haven't tried these so far. No, don't want the sugar beet cut pack, don't want the manure. Oh, what's this? I didn't know we had this. The Homer TX Phoenix Extract. Interesting. So we'll go down. No, no don't. Let's go with the Demcos. Actually, what? Let's go ahead and buy this. Why not? Get some tracks in. Come on. 
We need a British flag here, but you know what? We'll go with the good old US of A's. Yep, we're just going with everything. Do we want this? Yes, we do. Oh, that's 100 grand out. So where's our case two? Our case is here. So here we are at the shop and actually not. Whilst I'm doing this, so much equipment here. Why the worker doing? Uh, you know what? I'll give up the workers. You're gonna be full. But yeah, anyways, as we were saying, so oh, that's the rear end. But yeah, we got 24 bells of hay. That was from when we did contracts on fields 32 and 33. Uh, we sort of defaulted on sending them for what they wanted, however, we did compensate them for the money of what they would have made from the hay bell, so all in all, it is all good. And those hay bells we'll keep for ourselves, because either that, could use that for sheep feed or even cows for the TMR. I'm not sure which one we'll go for exactly, I'm not too sure at the end of the day. Uh, do, 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 do. Go around here, make sure we don't just run our crop. Not sure why that this grass here keeps on growing. I've paved it over so many times, but This cover opening. There we go, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. It is rolling back. And looks like I'm going to have to destroy some crop here. Ooh, break. So, yeah, we'll get this filled up and then we'll get the worker back on track and then. We'll focus on the side additive work. And there we go, that is filled up. Yeah, just showing some crops just quickly, get us out of here. Yes, we needed narrows or something on this, but for some reason it's not going all the way to the end. You know what, that that I can honestly deal with myself, but regardless. Back to the task in hand. See, as I was saying about the chaff and that is, this is going to make us so much money. And yeah, we're already at a million, which is under a million after buying the green car. But yeah, a lot of this money is going to go into just farm expansion. We'll expand the farmyard. Perhaps even get more fields now. I mean, for example, this field over here, field one. Which is going to be in. I may sacrifice some of that for animals, but I'm not too sure. Because I want to have animals in just like one area, by the main farm area. I think I don't mind having like production buildings at other bits of the map here and there, or even just silos and that. I think I have to sort it on a different part of the farm area of what we own, then that's fine. But yeah, so. Our first sale pass, and that is 32,000 litres. And we'll use our storage additive tank, nearly 5%. So, this is going to be a lot of work for, yeah, a lot of work for us, I think. So, yeah, we'll go and continue on this. And this should be really interesting, I think. Of how we could just like profit from this and just interested in the sheer volume what we're gonna get here. So yeah, I will continue on this and I'll see you folks in a short moment. <laughs>
done. Mine's gone down a little bit. We will have a look at that into why in the next episode. Let's just say we're going to be chipping away into some more profits for the farm. But yeah, anywho, we've done all the chaffing and all of the wheat. As you've seen in the time lapse, we've gone and took some wheat over to our old green mill. So it doesn't hold a lot, so we're going to get about 9,600 liters of flour per month. And with this, we can use this to make donuts potentially, or get a bakery, or yes, a few other things. But just with our chaff situation, we currently got 360,000 liters. We got 70,000 liters of silage. I'm pretty sure that was empty when we started this, so. No, no, we couldn't because 120,000 liters a month, so let's say about 400,000 liters, and then in here, this was definitely empty. So, yeah, about oh, 665, 675. And overall, how well did we do? Not great, to be honest. I uh, mean, we really did not do great. So, if we go into our PD system here. Look at that, look at all that orange. Obviously, this field here, I expected some. Because we're going to the like, solid type, yeah. I expected this to be quite low anyway, so I was hoping for around 80 ish percent. But here, oh, this is a pure disaster, like a massive strip here. How did that go? 65% that went down to. And there's parts of this field that was potentially 100%. So on average we lost about 15% of our expected yield from that field for the chaff, so... That's what? Good old 80,000 years of silage. In terms of straws, we've got I think 20 or 22-ish bales. Picked up some loose straw so we can quickly feed the cows. Even though the cows, I don't think they're going to be here for that much longer, but. Nice, so. But yeah, we do have some chaff in the new side. I think it's about 30. 35 ish thousand liters, so. Quick check that. Yeah, 35 thousand liters and 15 thousand liters of wheat. And this is an underground silo where water, fluids, as well as solid stuff gets sent down, stored underground, and then obviously it comes out of it in this pipe. And this is a dual pipe, so in here is perhaps some tubing or whatever, where one tube is for liquids and the other is for solids, so yeah, that's going to be nice. We'll still keep our main silo over here. I think here, this is perhaps where we could potentially store some essential things like that. 50,000 liters of wheat. That was meant to be for chicken food, so. Overall, I'm not too worried where this will go. So we'll go and put you into there. But yeah, I think in the next couple of episodes, we will see some huge changes around the farm. But yeah, to the next episode we'll be chipping away at a few things. Trying to increase our profits exponentially. Either in the short run or and slash the long run. I was thinking we do need like a heal off to sort to store these bells, so and I'll have a little look here in a sec, so yeah, don't we put a hayloft here around the farm area because this is all going to get changed, I think. Or at least potentially it'll get changed. So, yes, yeah, we're going to load these bells up now. And uh, yeah, there's some issue we had. Apparently, it was saying bell types weren't accepted for some reason. However, that has been resolved now, so I don't think we're going to get all this in one go. But yeah, in terms with the heat off in that, if 
we go to construction, it'd be under silos, I think. That's the one we want, so... Where do we put it, though? I think we could potentially put it here, but then again, I do want to create a pathway going to there, and another pathway going to here. Unless we do something like... No, because... Let's try that. There we go. Get some landscapers out. And we'll paint a nice gravel-ish area. There we go. Let's go and get all this painted. There we go. Ooh. Nothing to see there. Nothing to see here as we're trying to quickly run to your little mistakes. Like so, and then what we want is to put Yeah, that'll do. Nothing to see there. So now, in theory, this should be able to store our bells. So we don't have to worry about. Oops. Well, to say about missing bells in that. But speaking of which, we did lose two bells at field 34. You may see there's something going on down there by fields 36 and 37. If you know what these fields are, then that's probably a little hint to what we're going to be up to. But for now, we're going to have to wait and see on that. But yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving this series. Just on the map, yeah, it has a few little quirks in that, but it smells like a lot of maps have some quirky perks. I know Alshaven at the moment is waiting for an update. Be interested to see what the update involves. Hopefully not a new game save. Because I'll rise up. Especially if the update comes after we do the farm upgrades, but how the upload schedule is going to be, hopefully not, because I'm recording this Thursday evening and we're full already. So in theory the update should be up here until next week perhaps, maybe tomorrow, such today when this comes out, perhaps on Friday, but I'm just going to have to wait and see. So we'll go and back you up, and the theory is just case of, yep. 127,000 years of straw, but wait, is that straw in there? But how did it get 127,159 liters though? It's a bit of an odd number. So how big are these bells? These are 9,000 liters, so that is 90,000 liters plus 2918. 36, so uh, it's going to be 126,000 years, so actually we're getting some extra straw, so I'm not complaining, actually. <laughs> I was going to complain and moan about us being screwed over. Got an extra 1,000 years of straw? I am not going to say a word. Because mum's the word. There we go. So yeah, what I'm going to do here quickly is just get these last few bells picked up. Then we'll get the hay bells over, store them, and then that's what we're going to call it to the day. In terms of what we're going to do with the field here, I may leave it until again after we do all the 
upgrades to the farm, see how much money we can get and that as well, just in between. So next time we may see each other maybe in Octoberish perhaps. Actually you know what? Yeah I think yeah Octoberish, maybe this month still. But yeah, so quick it's done and I'll see you folks in second here. So alrighty then we've got these last two bells here and Roy sent the twenty four into the paid off. These are small bells, they aren't the big bells, so we're gonna have quite a bit less hay compared to the straw, but no worries, easy to make hay with some grass and just tell it. Or grass and a bit of straw then fermenting it. But I don't think I'm gonna do that, fermenting grass and straw to make some hay. So let's so go slowly backwards. But yeah, sort of see about what I mean by the field not being great, like the pH was off, the fertilizer was a little bit off in some parts. So yeah, it goes into here, gets all chopped and slipped up. So we've got 108,000 litres of hay. And I think we'll go ahead and return this. Yeah, we'll return you. We'll keep you for now because we may do grass bells, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so anyway, so that's going to be where we end it today. Next time, we're going to be chipping away at some profits, so I hope you stay tuned and look forward to that. This episode will come out perhaps Friday evening ish, and then the next episode will be out on Sunday if things go to plan. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, fair thing on the below. If you're not sure how to turn yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope everyone has a stay. But for now, this is me farming a voice stream, and I'll see you all very soon.